Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at the newly redesigned Twitter for Android. Now, you're going to get this in the most recent update, so if you come into the Play Store, you're going to notice that the app is at version 4.2, and there really wasn't anything else to go along with this update. It updated a couple days ago, and just now I was able to get the newly redesigned interface. Now, this just kind of came in as a silent update. It just refreshed the app itself when I opened it up this morning. And now you can see that this is a nice, clean interface that's following along with more of the material designs with Android 6.0. Now, the tabs up at the top are totally swipeable. So I can swipe over in between each tab, and I'm getting that nice Android experience that we've all come to love with Android 6.0. I can also tap on these, I mean I don't have to swipe through, you can tap on them just as you were traditionally. But I like this a lot better because I always found myself whenever I'd scroll on my device, on the bottom whenever those buttons were there, I would accidentally hit them and try and invoke a camera or something. It was really weird, but this new interface is really clean. We have that compose button down in the bottom right hand corner like we do with all Android apps that are following these design lines. We can add our location, add an image, add a GIF, even add polls, and then go ahead and tweet. What's really cool is now I can swipe out from the left hand side of the screen and open up a panel. So I have my profile, highlights, lists, and then connect tab. So profile obviously is going to take me to my profile. Now what's kind of weird about this is from the left hand side I can't swipe out anymore. I'm going to have to tap that back arrow, come back out to my timeline, and then I can swipe out the actual side. Now maybe that will be fixed in a future update, it's kind of annoying, but just keep that in mind. So now if I hit in highlights, it's going to show me all the highlights. And these are curated by Twitter. They're thinking that I might find these tweets a little bit more actually um, relevant to what I'm looking at. And I can swipe through these and take action on them. So I add that list again and I can see my lists. I currently don't have any, but you can tap the plus button to add some. And then let's go ahead and look at connect. This is where I can find new people to follow, see what's trending, and find other interesting places on Twitter. Now you'll notice that I can also tap on my profile picture up in the top left hand corner to open up that menu. You don't have to swipe it out. If you'd rather tap on the profile picture, you can do so. I just find that the swipe is a lot easier because you're already swiping in between each one of these tabs. Why not just swipe out from the edge of your screen and open up that menu? And you'll also notice at the bottom of this slide out menu, we have access to our accounts. So I can add in more accounts. I can even create a new account. And then I can even come into my settings and change all my notifications, my timeline. I can actually add privacy, change my notifications, displays and sounds, and I can see the about version. So overall, I think this design is a nice upgrade to the Twitter app. It's actually made me want to stick with the default Twitter app instead of looking for another one in the Google Play Store. This follows along with all the material design aesthetics. The swipeable tabs are a lot easier to navigate through than the clunky but buttons that were down on the bottom of the screen. And I even like this new compose button. This actually follows along with everything else I'm used to with the material design. So now I know that whenever I enter in Twitter, I'll be able to do everything I've been accustomed to in all of the other material design apps. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech, and we'll see you in the next video.